This isn't going to be a generic guide copy pasted every year with the same advice. This is a guide that accounts entirely for AI, the future of front end development and how you can navigate it to learn front end for whatever reason you have. I'll teach you every step of the journey, account for AI in all of those steps, and then I'll tell you the best place to learn them as well. No sponsors, no items to sell, no courses. This is real advice that I can assure you is the best. Stage one is getting into front end. You want to learn HTML and CSS. This, no matter how advanced AI gets, is the bare bones necessary requirements to get into front end development. It is the foundation of which everything you do in front end will be based on. If you don't learn these, you will always be a web coder at best. Start with HTML. HTML is what defines the literal content on your website. The text, images, paragraphs, etc. are all HTML. You can think of it as a bare bones house. Your HTML is the walls, the roof, the foundation, everything that is the structure of your house, or in our case, the structure of your website. After that, you want to learn CSS. CSS is the styling of your content to make it feel more alive. It's like the furniture in your house, the paint on your walls, and the ambient lighting. With these skills, you're ready for your first project. Building a website by yourself is by far the best way to learn front-end development. I can attest for this. Every other developer can attest to this in some way. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is that you build your first website by yourself. Choose a simple project, such as a personal website for yourself, and focus on the end product, not perfection. Every mistake only serves to reinforce your learning more. Don't neglect this and you'll be fine. Remember, in this day and age, you have the best teacher you can ask for, AI. Remember to use this sparingly. If you find yourself letting AI write the code for you, instead of learning, you're only slowing yourself down. Remember. You'll use AI a lot in the future. So take the time now to learn the fundamentals by yourself so that when you do use AI, you actually understand what AI is doing. Now, before we move on, here's a checklist of stuff to know so that you're ready for the next step. Can you build a layout in HTML and CSS? Can you center something? Can you style a button that changes on hover? Can you make a website look good on mobile? If you said yes to any of the following, you've learned the basics, and you probably know enough to move on to stage two. There are numerous ways to go from here, and I can give you a vague opinion over every single method and leave you confused and unsure, but I'm not gonna do that. Here's the best way to do it, which is the most practical way, but keeping AI and the future in mind. You'll want to learn a framework, and to start, you'll want to learn React. It's the most used, it's the best supported, it's better for getting hired, and it's well documented. Now, you will be jumping straight from vanilla JavaScript, so a bit of understanding beforehand can help. Just learn the very basics of JavaScript. You'll know you have enough knowledge of JavaScript if you can at least look at a script and understand enough to follow it. Here's the catch though, and it's a very important one. You don't want to learn React the traditional way. AI is already fully capable of writing the majority of the syntax you would write, so instead, you're not going to focus on memorization. You're going to focus on problem solving and understanding the entire structure of the website as a whole. How does this segment of the code link to this other segment? Is the output on the website what your end user might need or want? These are more important now than writing syntax. Now, before we continue, there's something you need to know. React is not actually a framework. React is just a library. So what you should do is use Next.js. Next.js combines React and other libraries to give you access to the right tools. For simplicity, you don't need to understand what Next.js does fully, but you do need to understand how to make finished websites with it. I have a really short guide that can walk you through all of that. It's linked in the description when you're ready. By the way, feel free to leverage AI to its full capacity. At this stage, you know enough now that you can ask AI to write something for you and then understand it enough to use it and implement it. I understand that by doing this method, you won't have a deep understanding of the code you're writing. That's all right. You don't need to understand what you're writing. You just need to output finished products and get stuff done. 
with the future in mind. AI might not be perfect right now, but it's getting better. And workplaces will expect you to be using and leveraging AI to begin with. So don't worry about this. Now, there are some tools you want to get familiar with. Here's a list of them if you're not already using them. Visual Studio Code. This will serve as your code editor. Learn to leverage its extensions and tools. GitHub. This is where you will upload your code and make you hireable. GitHub Desktop. A great way to interact with GitHub using Git for beginners. At least one AI model. There's a lot of AI models out there. Just find one you like and learn to integrate it into your workflow. You don't have to do anything fancy. Just getting familiar with it will go a long way. Vercel, the best cloud platform to host your websites. Extremely beginner friendly, especially for React and Next.js developers. TypeScript, it's useful for less buggy code and is used in most industries. Tailwind, a more efficient way to write CSS used in the industry a lot. Focus on building websites using all of the aforementioned and deploying it yourself. Just one website is enough to get general competency in this area. At this stage, I could walk you through more and more advanced concepts and make you a god amongst developers. Or we can be practical. At this point, you know enough to go into the field yourself and actually perform. If you want to get a job, start applying. If you want to be a freelancer, start looking for gigs. You know enough now that learning on the field is the best experience you will get. But here's some more general tips I can give you so you can keep learning. Ask AI how a senior dev would do it. Anytime you write code, it's the fastest way to learn high-level thinking. Apply now. Even if you don't feel 100% ready, the imposter syndrome and fear of rejection are real, but ignoring these will help you land a job quicker. Post your progress online. Every project, every milestone, this is the only way to get recognized properly for your skills. You're done learning by yourself. Go into the real world, get some real experience, and become a proper developer. If this was helpful, just leave a comment. It just motivates me to keep making more content.